So I posted this clip uh, on Twitter. R-R-R. Do you know that movie? Hell yeah. I've seen it like six times at least. It's the best movie. Second favorite movie, my octopus. Uh, anyways, That's Gina so Davis. Yeah, Gina Davis, um, Hollywood legend. And I posted on Twitter because she's talking about RRR. And a bunch of people replied, who is that? To which others replied to those people replying, Stuart Little's mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's known for. <laughs> yep. Never done anything else noteworthy. Nothing. That's like Nasir and Shah being known as Deborah's dad. That's it. <laughs> About right. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to our stupid arts of Corbin. I'm Gina Davis. And you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody for on Patreon. Follow us to the account. Like uh, just two off the top of my head. Uh, Beetlejuice and Thelma and Louise. Just a, just a couple. Just a couple. Classics. On top of, I think, uh, hundreds of other things she's done. Oh. Uh, just look up Gina Davis, and you have seen many things she's been in. She spells it G-W-E-N-A. Yeah. Yeah. Hollywood legend. Yep. Gina Davis. Yep. Anyways, welcome back. Today we do another movie review <laughs> of the new, still in theaters, I believe, uh, film. Uh, and it has its own name. Yeah, but... the actual title is called... Um, I wrote this down. Where is it? I had it. Maybe I put it down at the bottom. Wait a minute. Uh, Katukali, is that right? Yeah, it starts with a K, I know that. Yeah. But on, it's translated to The Adamant Girl. Yeah. Uh, the film, we've seen the trailer uh, for it. Oh, we're very excited. It's in theaters, did not come here. The producers kindly um, sent us a screener. Thank you so much. Not a paid review, never is. But Yeah, uh, don't even... Yeah, try. <laughs> Just have to confirm it for uh, people. Yeah. Uh, but it's sometimes, especially with smaller films from all industries, people will send us. Uh, and I, I went out seeking this one. Uh, and they, the trailer, we were they, they kindly thrilled. Uh, sent us a screener. Well, the thriller combined with who the director is. Correct. The director of Pebbles. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so. This will be mostly non-spoilers. If we get to spoils, we will tell you we'll what we warn do because you. it is still in theaters. And you let the movie tell the story. Um, so it'll be mostly non-spoiler for you. Uh, Rick, your initial thoughts of The Adamant Girl. Uh, yeah, before I share that, that's one of our biggest pet peeves is it, why movie critics feel like they're storytellers and they just tell the story yeah, in their reviews. Like they literally start the movie. Okay, so it starts off like... Yeah, well, thanks what? for giving us a story synopsis. What are you doing? That's not Idiot. your job. No, exactly. It's so infuriating. Oy vey. Anyway... <laughs> Um, I, it's been a while since I've done this, but I almost wrote a paragraph, <laughs> a lot to say, and we've yet to see all we imagine is light. Yeah. 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 It'll have a theatrical release here in the States on November 15th. I read that in variety, but I, uh, that's for best picture stuff, right? That could be still sent, I believe as India's submission though. But that has to be submitted by, what, end of September, correct? Yeah, there's still time. But the we, reason they're releasing it here is because uh, it could also be sent for Best Picture. Correct. Not just international. Correct. Um, I This should be in the conversation. I uh, When I finished, I said I would have no qualms about you sending this as your... Yeah. Uh, and I think there's other good possibilities as well that you could also send. But... Damn if this doesn't have everything you would want from a international feature in the foreign category. And correct? if you yeah, and if you're wondering, this thing's platinum. Yeah. Um, this thing, we're gonna probably be here for a long time. Yeah. Because there's nothing to do but talk about the exemplary artistry in artistry cinematically. In every way, shape, or form. It's oh. about as good as movie making gets. This is a Easily one of my favorite films of the year. 100%. Um, it's, God, it's so brilliant in all aspects. Um, it's just, uh, and from the way it starts off, and I'm not going to give anything away because uh, you need to go see this movie and support it. It's a small film, uh, but you need to support it. The way it starts off is brilliant and beautiful and yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And then it kind of just continues this quirky little powerful powerful that is a word subtle journey subtle's another one i wrote profound Prof subtlety yeah 
Uh, um, and and in addition to um, the high mark in cinema for most storytelling, for me, uh, and most people who love cinema and the art form of movie making and theater is the simple power of watching human beings being human. Mm -hmm. And if there's a way to synopsize this without giving anything away, there's a twofold thing in this that is first and foremost, it's a film about how and why we do things. Mm -hmm. I'm talking everything. Mm -hmm. Just the interest you have in watching how and why people do things and do them in different ways, in different places, and for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Then it starts to unfold and there is a much bigger picture, a symbolic picture, and a really powerful message that we'll talk more about in the spoilers. Mm -hmm. But... I just uh, shout out to continuity and sound design. Um, in a di I, I, there's some things I can't talk about till we get into spoilers. The bottom line is this is a film, if there's ever a film that deserves support and deserves to be seen and deserves to make a lot of money so that more films can be made like it and talk about a one-two punch, this is P.S. Vinothraj's second film. Yeah. You got Pebbles and this. Wasn't Pebbles sent as the Oscars? It was. It and, was the Oscar this, submission. And I liked Pebbles. I did too. This is. I like this more. A, 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 like, if you're comparing the two and you don't need to because they're not similar. Actually, no, and at Pebbles all. is a great film. Not similar at all. I think this has a way better shot than Pebbles ever would at, 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 at a foreign category. This is one of the best Indian films we've seen since yeah. the channel started. Yeah, this is a... It, Bottom there, line. There's nothing about this that isn't exemplary. There, there isn't also, a flaw. It also is very... Even though it's so Indian and the story's very Indian and cultural, it's very human uh, with a lot of universal truth. Yes. And also, just the way it's filmed is very familiar to a Western audience. And... This isn't a spoiler. But also very uniquely filmed. I hope what I'm about to say will make you want to see the film even more, aside from the fact that we are screaming its praises for its artistic excellence. Yeah. But it is timely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. After you've seen it, come back and watch the spoiler section. But to say that this, and that's one of the things that make a film win Oscars is... First of all, you have to just have the creative excellence to merit that. And this does without question in every capacity. Acting, writing, story, cinematography, everything. Everything. Yeah. It screams Oscar-level artistry. Then you add to it, there's times when films come out that there seems to be this providential, serendipitous timeliness where you couldn't have scripted it in such a way that there's some things that are being talked about in society and the film comes out at the same time and suddenly there's this film that seems to have been made at the same time. It's The timing of the film is pretty amazing and don't have enough superlatives. Yeah, no. Um, it, it's just there's literally everything. And I want to get into spoils here. Me too. So basically just go see it if you love cinema. Please. Uh, if you love great cinema, um, this is not obviously. If you saw the trailer, it's not an action film. It's not anything like that. It's a. It's, it's a drama. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's a drama. It's very interesting. It's high marks on anything that you consider elevative, on cinematography, uh, camera work, um, um, acting, direction, uh, all that. It's fine artistry. It's yeah. uh, you've heard me define it before. Something uniquely put together, marked by distinction and perfection, suited to the virtues of humanity. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And there are some folks, and this is a big concern for me, not for film, but for them as human beings. If you can't sit through this film, then I you probably can't meditate. You probably can't pray. You probably just can't sit at the ocean and watch the waves come in. You probably can't sit on a porch in the mountains and listen to the birds and watch the stream. Yeah. But. And those are some of the most important things you can do as a human being is just take the time to be. Yeah. And this film forces you 
to be with these people and watch them being. It's and also spectacular. with its slowness, it's still so interesting. I, I'm, I was like riveted. The, the cinematography by, say his name. Uh, yeah, by uh, Sackville, if I mispronounced that. Forgive me. If this was a if this was a Hollywood film, it would be nominated for mm. cinematography and camera work. It would also get a SAG nom for for ensemble. Yeah, it uh, would get some noms for. Uh, it, it would have multiple nominations in the SAGs, the Globes, and the Oscars. If this that, was an American film, I say it as because it's unfortunately since the Oscars are an American award for uh, our industry. For our industry, right. Um, the, uh, except for a few exceptions, you know, parasites of the world. And right, when something that, becomes that, a juggernaut around the world. It, it's usually always stuck to just like the BAFTAs are basic. Right. They're all they're, British. They're British. Uh, even though Oscars claim to be more international, they're still primarily a Hollywood award. Right. Um, but that's what I'm saying. If this was a Hollywood film, this would get a picture nom. This would get uh, acting noms. This would get cinematography. This would get all, all the noms. It's that great of a film. Yeah, the cinematic IQ of the film is at 200. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's, this is as good as movie making gets. So go see it. We're going to talk about spoilers now. If you haven't seen it, please do not. Yeah, continue. please don't listen to this unless you've seen the film. Um, go watch it. Support it in theaters. I wish we could have. Uh, it's just, it didn't, it didn't come here. Yeah. I get it. It's a small film, so they probably didn't have the budget for distribution. My hope. My hope is there will be there will be a lot of buzz and there'll be lovers of cinema who are big names and have the power in Indian cinema like Anurag to to promote a film after they've seen it. And then it could get some more international buzz I mean, and then it could get a his, theatrical release here. I mean, <laughs> the people that nominate do know him. He was of their course. submission. He was their submission. Uh, the the only I think there's other films that I think could also do well in submission. Well, and I really want to see all, all, all always, we imagine is like. That is still my prediction. You can't get close to winning can without being a great film. No, I'm sure it's a spectacular and, movie. And so it already has that recognition. So that would be my guess currently. But if it is not, and obviously if I would, if I see it and I, I don't agree with all that, this would be my choice. Without question. One right Hands now. down, this is number one. Um, so please go watch it. Do not continue if you have not seen it. Uh, the poster, absolutely brilliant, guys. Yeah, the poster is perfect. Yeah, keep that poster. Uh, I I love this film so much. Um, the my my favorite part, and I have a lot of favorite parts. So do I. I have a lot that I wrote down. The way it is shot, I got a and lot. The shot choices they decided to use are incredible, absolutely impeccable and incredible, and like especially a lot of the close up shots. It made it feel like. I was an, uh, I was a rooster, and my eyes were. Uh, I was looking through the eyes of a rooster, and also because I got, they were so close up and weird and and different angles, and so like you're kind of one side, uh, eye on each side of your head, kind of thing, and then also the 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 rooster and what it symbolizes. Yes, is so many things. I can't. I don't even know if it just symbolizes one thing. <laughs> Uh, it, there's so many things that the rooster itself symbolizes. As does all of nature and animals. Yeah. I, I'm astonished at some of the shots you guys were able to get mm -hmm. with the animals. Yeah, they got great animal actors. Unbelievable. <laughs> and how the heck, you must have either been thrilled or you had a trained bird when you got that raven to land on the oh, bull. Oh, CGI. That was CGI. No, it, was CGI. it was perfect CGI. Yeah, yeah, was I was convinced it was a bird. It was CGI. Beautiful, perfect. Every, everything else was real. There, there was a there was a shot. First of all, actors, mm. which is a combination with your cinematographer and your director, you all did an exemplary job of hitting marks and getting in frame without it making look like you were doing it. Mm -hmm. Everything felt like we were just watching these people on this trip on the road. But so consistently, there were these stagnant shots of everybody, and you could see everybody's face because they've been they had been specifically placed on marks yep. to be seen. There's an incredible shot when they're driving in the car. Mm -hmm. That's an exterior shot of the rickshaw driving, and you see everybody, and then you look in the far right rear view, and you see the see reflection her. Yep. of her face perfectly framed in the rear view. Yep. Now, whether that was caught on the day or they put it in post, it doesn't matter. It's a great I shot. I think they caught on day. Um, they, the some of the framings in this, um, and I'm, I'm I've been in the process with a, a director friend of mine, Valerie, writing a film for a long time, and 
the weirdness of the shot choices or something that I immediately after I was done, I said, you need to watch this because I need a lot of shots in our film to be like this <laughs> um, in terms of how weird they are. Yeah. Just uh, I needed that. Yep. But um, a lot of the framings, not the really weird ones, but a lot of the framings were very Wes Anderson and how symmetrical a lot of them were. It like it looked like they were set. And obviously you're, you're telling a specific story when you do specific framings like that. Um, but like when they were, when all the women were in the rickshaw and it was like three, mm -hmm. two chicken, mm -hmm. <laughs> one on one, I was like, that's a brilliant shot. Absolutely. <laughs> As was, there was a shot where the, the, the POV is behind the motorcycle and they make a right hand turn and they're going to go get their alcohol and he gets off the motorcycle and the, it's a continual. Yeah. So, so many great continuals. They actually. had... A mobile shot behind a motorcycle on some form of modus operandi that was a seamless transition to a walk shot. Yep. Absolutely brilliant. Gee, yeah, there was, it started with a one shot and a very brilliant, well acted by uh, Anna Ben, by the way. Yes. Uh, she remind. I, we, I know we've seen her. I think it was in Kolki, uh, which is a very different film, and Kumbalanji Nights. Uh, brilliant actress, Anna Ben. Um very easy to pronounce name too, so uh, thank you for that. <laughs> Usually I can't pronounce those, but she reminded Same me. Same as Suri, easy name to pronounce. Reminded me of uh, Rasika uh, a yeah, little bit yeah. uh, as an actor, who's high praise because she's a brilliant actress. But she, what she was able to convey with also very, I, I don't know, maybe she had a dozen lines? Tops? Tops. Tops? But uh, spoke volumes. In so many scenes, emotional availability of her was... Absolutely brilliant. Best thing I've seen her do. Uh, and she's done well in those other things. But she did a phenomenal job, as well did Suri. Mm. Um, and I know this is maybe the second thing of Suri, maybe third tops. I know of that, obviously, we saw last year, which the second part mm -hmm. is coming up this year. Um, the part one of the Vidu. Vidu part Sali, one, yeah. Uh, which they just announced the second part's coming out in December, mm. I believe. Um, but he, when I left that, he had the shaving cream on the entire film on his neck. Well, I don't know that that was that. I think it was a specific thing was that they like did that was part of him going for the ritual. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. At first, I thought he was getting a shave. Yeah, okay. But I think that was actually something he had to do as part of them going to the seer. Also, I thought it was um, Robert F. Kennedy uh, talking the entire time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the uh, voice. Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Right when he started talking, he was like, oh, God, no. Um, but uh, he did a really good job. One, that was a, a very uh, distinct choice he made with the voice. Um, I thought it played off very well. And then also, I just believed him. He never, I felt like, also judged his character. You no. Did, you never also realized how awful his character was to almost halfway in the that, film. That moment when he explodes in the rickshaw. Yeah. Was so believable. And you find out exactly why everything's happening. That was the other thing. From the get-go, that opening shot, the long shot, where she's going to worship and then she goes in and she puts the ash on her. The We say this all the time, but one of the hallmarks of great filmmakers is the presumption of an intelligence that's high in their audience and not telling us anything, showing it to us, we don't really start to figure out what's happening until long into the film. Yeah. And that is what makes such great, powerful storytelling because it, it causes you to go, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And that's real life. Real life doesn't spell things out for you. If you're just dropped into the middle of somebody's world, you're going to have to wait a little bit to figure out what's going on. Who are these people? What do they want? Yep. Why do they want it? Yep. Uh, yeah. And what... Uh... It was really, um, there were so many great shots, but a brilliant choice by the director in uh, P.S. Uh, Vin, say his name? Vin Thraj. Um, and so many different long shots, obviously, very yeah. powerful in the way, obviously, they treat women. Um, in, well, we'll in, get into that, in, in yeah. In this group, obviously. But it was so difficult to watch that scene where they get to the, the, the priest or whatever he was. And... <laughs> he's breaking the spell on her. And he just keeps you there. So good. With that actress, whoever played, did a great job. Everybody did. Just dead inside, basically, by how she's treated by the people in her life, obviously. Yeah, and she knows she has no choice but to go along with it. Yeah. But, like, they literally, he just kept you there. 
Yeah. The whole time. The taking. <laughs> yeah. And like I laughed at one point because I'm like, this is ridiculous because it's so uncomfortable. And Steph was like, it's not funny. I'm like, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> but it's so ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and obviously that's the point of the entire scene. It's supposed to seem uh, like stupid. Uh, what's going on in the scene and how they're treating these women. Uh, I didn't expect the um, the ending. I love the ending. I do too. You know, I love um, oh my goodness. not spelling things out, uh, leaving us with questions. Um, did Like, was he Suri's character? Obviously, if you see, we're in his POV at the end. Which was brilliant. For a long time. You, brilliant. You know, it was a one shot, basically, until the end of his POV. Mm-hmm. And you're left wondering, okay, is he questioning it now? What's going to... And they just don't tell you. And I love it. I do, too. I love it. Um, I also think... I mean, we can get into that that symbolism of things. So oh, you, yeah. you start off, since you're not exactly sure what's going on, what you begin to recognize is, um, you know, it being a film about how and why we do what we do. Mm -hmm. Everything from starting a rickshaw to washing an eye to worshiping a god. Oh, that shot! Yeah. Have you ever stuck your tongue in someone's eye? Never even thought to. That was one of the weird shots. I'm Never like, even thought to. Oh, I, I was cringing, but I was like, that is brilliant. <laughs> Amazing. And then, it, you know... How they didn't get the camera in the shot! Or with the was, reflection of her in his eye? Or if it was CGI'd out. It might have been cgi Whatever, out. it was flawless. That was brilliant. Um, how, we, how we get married, how we talk to strangers... Yeah. How we pave roads and why we pave roads. That's just that little throwaway remark of we need to pave the roads. And he says, no, you can't do that. The goddess said she won't show up. That's a huge line. Mm -hmm. And the consistency with which we are subtly but profoundly shown what the place is like before the humans come into frame. Mm -hmm. And then after they leave frame, you have quiet, contentedness, everything functioning in its system the way it ought to. And then the disruption of the polluted beings going through. And then in the wake of their passing, it settles back. Mm -hmm. The obvious symbolism mm -hmm. of the cog. Yeah. <laughs> that is so, so much obvious about that in the primary thing. That's what I was saying about the timeliness of it. Mm -hmm. Because there's so much messaging in the film, but one of the prime takeaways from this is the damning, destructive hellishness of what toxic men have done for millennia to women and children. Mm -hmm. And how one of the most... There were so many moments that got me emotional that were so powerful and so simple, too, right off the top of my head. When she's in the rickshaw and she goes by the dam. Yep. And then she sees herself walking across the dam, but her hair is liberated. Yep. That was unbelievable. Such and then when, acting by her. when her mom takes her mm -hmm. and you know what she was going to do, she took her so she could run away mm -hmm. and she's mom's crying and she freaking comes back because she knows she's going to get caught. Yep. Worse will happen to her. Yep. And, and to her mother, Yep. what they will do to her mom for having let her go away. Yeah. And then the, the, the really, the, the symbolism of when they finally get back to their destination and they all get out of the rickshaw and then the other family gets into the car and just drives away. What a shot. <laughs> he let you decide what you want that to mean. What a shot. But <laughs> I was like, damn. Yeah, no joke. He had a, he had a, they had a lot to say. A lot this movie to say about a lot of things. Um, the symbolism of uh, obviously um, the the rooster has I feel, feel like so much symbolism. A lot of symbolism. It could, it, Multiple. It things. could mean everybody in the entire film, which is why that the 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 thing is just filled with roosters. Um, from the rooster being tied up in the beginning and then going straight to her. It the very same, much being um, uh, uh, it very much being almost as if it was the embodiment of her soul. Yeah, and that you know what the end of this is all is. Oh, the end of this is all. Both of them are dead. Yeah, and if she doesn't die physically, she's dead inside, just yeah. like the other girl. Oh. And so th they're dead, um, and innocent, 
yep. done nothing wrong, nope. not deserving of the way they're being treated. No. But at the mercy of these cocksure males doing what they do, I, I, I you know what I thought was going to happen? Mm. I thought, because he did, Suri did have this look in his eye, and I thought, that's not going to happen. That's not what this character, I, no way he changes like this. There was a look in his face like maybe this was wrong. I was expecting him to come back and us to have an absolute shocking machete butchering of her by him. Mm. I thought he was going to chop her to death mm. to end the film. And he very well may have. That's the brilliance of the ending yeah. is what do you think happens? And I think there's a reason he chooses to go to black. And it, it conveys, do not think that this is going to, you can choose the ending, but don't be so deceived as to think that this is going to end well for anybody mm. because it's not the way it works. The only way you get great change with these kinds of problems, if ever, is over a long period of time through a lot of sacrifice. Don't think it changes in this yeah. moment. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, incredible. Yeah, it is. It's a, uh, I, like I said, we'll, we'll have to see what all we see is light or whatever the film is titled, obviously. Um, yeah, all we imagine is light. It's still the favorite just because of what it's done this year. It's got to be magnificent to have won um, at Cam. Uh, got to be. Yeah, well, it did and, win. It got the, the runner up. Yeah, well, it got, yeah, the runner up. But, but for, for I mean, this has, talk I talk about. In Two terms of films, in terms of just everything that you'd want from a foreign category, um, I think this is one of the best chances we've seen since we started the channel. I agree. Of a film that could do very well in the foreign category. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna leave out RRR because that's a very that's not your stereotypical uh in film that's submitted to the Oscars. Should it have been? A thousand percent because of what it did here in America, and it would have probably, it definitely been nominated, could have easily won. But that's just because of the cultural event that happened here in America yeah. with RR, not because it's like um, a, a typical kind of like artsy right. foreign film, which is right. what normally does well Correct. at foreign categories in the Oscars. That is true. RR was the exception. Right. Um, but like, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm thinking about, all the times that we've done, did um, Hell or Out come out during the channel? Did that come out? Yeah, it came out. Oh, we I know we watched it. I can't remember if it did come out during the channel. Well, I'll tell you, the last time I felt a that, film. Because that would have done very well at the Oscars. The last time I remember watching a film where when I was left with it, I thought this better be the submission and it has a chance to win with deep conviction in my gut was Jelly Katu. Yeah. And, until now. Yeah. This is that, this is that level of film. I think this has a better shot. I do too. Because Jolly Taku, a brilliant film, but it, it requires, um, cause it, it didn't, the performances on it were very in a way that could have been jarring to some non Indian audience. Correct. Uh, because of that's how they wanted just them like, to be played. Just like the one he did with Mamudi. Uh -huh. It was a lot more um, kind of very culturally rooted in Kerala. Just like the one he did with um, Mamudi, right. And it, it, even though the IQ of it was up here, Stratosphere. it would have might have been difficult for a lot of uh, Western people to yeah. fully grasp. Yeah. Not this one. This one, very simple. I could show this film to any cinephile, any filmmaker here who's never seen an Indian film. And they would walk away saying, wow. what an incredible motion picture. Yeah. So Without I, knowing a thing about India. They uh, don't need to. Um, I think which it, is saying a lot. <laughs> it would have a very good shot. Yeah. Um, on artistic levels. Um, it, and the fact that it, obviously the people have already submitted his first film. And this is a better film, I think. I, I do, too. Uh, even though I think Pebbles is a very good film. Pebbles is a very good film, but this falls under the category of, I mean, when I don't use the word lightly. If you say something's masterful or a masterpiece, the artistry in this at every level, the story, the writing, the acting, the cinematography, the sound design, everything about this thing, the continuity, Everything about this thing has a flawlessness to it that puts it into the category of being a masterwork. Yeah. It really does. Um, so thank you so much to the uh, makers. Oh, for... and the, you, the ensemble, you guys should be so proud. Every single one of you. 
it, you know, sometimes, like example, the that blow up scene in the rickshaw that's so shocking and so well when done. When they turn it? No, no, not that one. Oh, that I was love funny. That. I love that. They were just that was hysterical. <laughs> and I love the shot when it turns and turns and then settles and the women are behind through the back window. I'm talking about when when Suri loses his mind. Oh yeah. yeah. He did not. First of all, he didn't hold back. No. He was he was hitting people. A lot of times in those kinds of sequences, you can tell. Okay, he's he's holding back because he doesn't want to hurt the actor. I had I had concern for all of the people involved as the characters because no one was holding back, and the reactions. Yeah. Sometimes you don't get believable reactions from people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody at every moment, I believed I was watching real human beings. The pullback from that, from the fight when they go way back, you see him on the bridge, the creeks. Yeah. Right in front of and you. he's gone for his walk to have a smoke. No, no, the wild are still fighting. Oh, oh, the fight and sequence. The, okay, yeah, yes, 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 yes. You pull back. Yes. And you just see this calm nature and then just the Yeah, the insanity. Again, another message of no. here's the bigger picture, guys. When you really think about the things that we human beings fight over and get mad about and and think about what he was getting mad about, mm -hmm. he was ready to kill her. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the world and nature's looking at it going. It's why I've always said one of the reasons I think that uh, other like extraterrestrial or interventional beings don't like to get too involved with us is because would you if you saw us? If I was driving by in my UFO, I'd roll up the window and say, yeah, let's go to the next galaxy. <laughs> I don't know that I want to be too close to these guys. <laughs> um, anyways. Yeah, thank you so much to Makers for, for sending us a screen. Thank we, you. Uh, we very much wanted to see it and we're very much glad we got to see it. I hope it has long legs. Um, and many, many people get to uh, watch it. Yeah. If you've seen it, please let us know what you thought about it. And hopefully it. you have, if you're still here. Uh, please, yeah. <laughs> if you uh, if you have seen it, let us know what you thought about it. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, why? Uh, please uh, let me know that. Uh, and uh, any other thoughts you have um, down below. Yeah.